Hello guys. Um, today we're going to be. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be showing how to make a secondary flight display. So this is how it's going to look like, and it's going to look 3D and realistic, so that it actually looks like the real one. So now I'm going to show you how to make it. So step one is you take a printout of the display. I've taken one here, right here. It's of the Boeing Triple Seven. You can take any aircraft you want. And there's some other stuff which I will make on future videos. So uh, be sure to check in. So um, what you have to do is after printing it out, uh, you have to cut it open. So first you cut the whole thing right here at the edge, and then you cut in the in the part where the, actually the glass display is. So this is like the button. This is where the, the buttons are, and these are the, this is the glass display. So I will show you how it will look after it's cut. So this is how it will look after it's being cut. Um, and then you have to cut the inner part, the glass display. So then it's gonna look like this. We we'll have one layer, this, which is the uh, buttons where all the switches are, and then our other layer, which is the glass display. Um, so if you don't want any mistakes, I, I, <coughs> I insist on you to use thick paper because it is like more durable. So now we're going to go to the next step. So now what you have to do is take a piece of paper. It can be any paper. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's an paper sheet or some office paper. So now you have to take the glass display only and and twist it over the white paper. So I'm going to use a pencil to do that and trace it. So I've traced out the outline. So keep this paper safe. That's going to be important for later. So now we're going to go to the next step. So now I've taken some cardboard, and now what you have to do is take this piece right here, the the real outline, and then draw it on there, and then cut it open. Okay. So now I've taken this thin cardboard, as obviously thick cardboard will be too hard to cut, and once you also cut the inner part, it will be very hard. So. It's gonna come and bite out everywhere. So I've, I've taken thin cardboard. So make sure you use this. So it's only one layer and it's pretty thin. So now I'll show you after it's cut. So now I've cut it out the piece right here. Let's take it out. <coughs> this is the piece. You have to make sure it fits perfectly. And it does. So now what you have to do? Is now trace the inner outline and cut that open. And I'll show you how. To do it. So as you see here, I have cut the piece. And now we have to do is um put a back plate over here so it 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 acts like a covering to the hole that we made. So I'll show you how it will look. As you see here, I've taken a piece of thick cardboard as it doesn't really matter because it's going to stay as the back cover of this. So it's going to look like this. So now what you have to do is glue it on here so that it will it will hold as a covering to the back part. So as you as you see, oh that's my cat. Okay, as you see. I have stuck the plate in here and it now looks 3D and now remember we do like uh, an outline of the display in a sheet of paper yeah so that's gonna be uh, like a trace paper for the transparent sheet which we are gonna, we are gonna apply over this so it looks realistic so now I'm gonna see if it fits perfectly and if it don't, if if it doesn't, we can always trim it off. So it can fit perfectly, but we just have to push it in a little. So I will do that in a moment, and I'll show you. So as you see, I have put the paper into the hole, and it fits nicely. The APP on the display go a little over the cardboard, but that's perfectly fine. Cause anyway, this is not. 
could be a working thing and it's going to just be like a um, a model that can't do anything it's just like for display on the cockpit so that's perfectly fine and it's, it isn't going to do anything in the cockpit anyway so now what we're going to do is we're going to make the glass display with a transparent sheet of paper and I'll be right back so I've got a clear sheet of plastic here according to the size and it's going to go perfectly like that so you may be asking me how do I glue it on so there is a way to just glue to a normal glue but you have to be really careful as you shouldn't like let the big strands of the glue or like big chunks of the glue just settle in there and just slightly do it so I'll be showing it live how to do it here so slowly don't apply on, on the on the glass piece on the paper slowly it shouldn't it shouldn't look like there's glue on it like smoothly I'm pretty sure you can't see if there's glue on it right like that so I'm gonna I'm just gonna slowly apply glue on it without making any of like the white stuff uh, like visible but I'm still applying glue without making visible So I think I've applied enough glue there and I don't think it's visible. So now I'm going to take my transparent sheet and I'm going to apply it in there. Don't make any air bubbles. Yes, now you have a actual glass display that actually looks good. You can see the shine. So now what you have to do is cut all the buttons you see on the like the on the, uh, the on like the button area. Like all the buttons I see is like this round uh, scroll button this button this plus minus button and these two over here i'm going to cut that out and i'm going to tell you how what to do so i cut it out all the pieces here as you can see and now what you have to do is this main part right you glued on here and then all these tiny pieces you glued on like a piece of cardboard and then you cut it out and i'll show you how to do it so I stuck the button and the scroll button onto this thin cardboard and I've also stuck the outer uh, layer into the cardboard and then once you cut it, you stick it onto the uh, onto the board except the scroll button as it's going to be scrollable and we have to make a mechanism for it. As you see here, I've stuck on all the buttons except the scroll wheel as now we're going to be making it and you can see it's very 3D and it looks good like actually good because for the like the reason you can get cardboard this is actually good because uh, the people who don't have a 3d printer can actually rely on this and can further uh, increase like the reliability of this using 3d printing and electronics which i'm gonna make a future video on on the primary side display but that's a long time soon so now let's make a scroll display now like make a, a rectangle of this shape like a long strip and then roll it up until it, it comes to this size and i'll show you how it look so while that uh the nozzle is uh is dry we're going to take a white sheet of paper and roll it up to make like a very thin cylinder okay 
this is going to be the part that rotates to spin the thing so that we can actually make it so that it works so now i'm gonna insert it inside the cardboard for uh, the cardboard nozzle and i'm gonna show how it looks and now i've inserted it in and now it works so scroll it easily yeah so guys that's it so i will show uh, other stuff in the next video so